Now to a disturbing story out of Pennsylvania, where a teen claims she was forced to have sex with more than a thousand men over two years. Alicia Nieves reports for our Philadelphia station, KYW, that the girl is now suing the motel where she was held against her will. For the first time since the state's human trafficking law has been enacted, lawyers in Center City are using it in an attempt to hold this Northeast Philly motel responsible for the sexual exploitation of a Philadelphia teenager. This child was forced into sex slavery, paid to do things with men double, triple, quadruple her age. Lawyers allege employees at the Roosevelt Inn knew that a 14-year-old girl was being held here against her will for two years. In that time, she allegedly was forced to have sex with more than a thousand men for as little as $50. She's devastated by what has happened to her. She's just just trying to piece her life back together. The girl, now 17, wants this hotel to pay for what happened to her. Under the 2014 law, she's suing the Roosevelt Inn's owners, the larger management company that runs it, and even the motel manager, Yanga Patel. When we try to talk to him about the lawsuit, they're not going to have any comments, so please. He didn't want to say much, though he denied the allegations. I, I was in office, I didn't see anything, no. You have to be blind, deaf, and dumb not to know that uh, that that a hundred men are showing up over a period of a couple of days. You have a cleaning crew that comes into the room and oftentimes finds boxes uh, or waste cans full of used condoms. This is as about as open and obvious as it gets. That was Alicia Nieves of our Philadelphia station, KYW. Now, according to the teen's attorneys, the victim is currently in therapy and trying to get her life back on track.